Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. Lord Yuan Shu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is finally brought to an end thanks to the efforts of the brave heroes of the Han forces. Due to their extraordinary feats in battle, Liu Bei and his one brothers become known throughout the land as great heroes. Following the rebellion, it is Dong Zhuo who seizes control of the Imperial Court. With the mighty Lu Bu by his side, Dong Zhuo's power knows no limits as he rules the capital with an iron fist. Unable to bear Dong Zhuo's tyranny any longer, regional leaders across the land answer Cao South Cao's call to arms and allied forces formed under Yuan Shao in an attempt to overthrow the evil dictator. Within the ranks of the newly formed allied force, the figures of Liu Bei and his one brothers could be seen. Okay, so here is the second act for Shu, the alliance against Dong Zhuo. And there's only two stages this time, the Battle of Si Shui Gate and the Battle of Hulao Gate. And as always, you could always skip Si Shui Gate and you could play the Battle of Hulao Gate and move on. But I am going to play the Battle of Si Shui Gate. So here we go. And let's change the character again because I'm going to do that every time. A um, little bit of a spoiler alert to an extent. Um, you won't be able to unlock any characters for Shu until you complete this act. Um, for Wei and Wu, if I'm not mistaken, you will unlock characters. I think Lu Meng is one for Wu, and I forgot who you can unlock for Wei. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Shu Huang. But, um,. I'm 99% sure on that, but I could be totally wrong. Um, that's the only thing that sounds right. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we played as Liu Bei in the last part, and I will be playing as. Hmm, let's do Guan Yu again. Let's play as Guan Yu. Alright, so the equipment. We had nothing with the items the first time I play as Guan Yu, so now that we have something, I will probably be using the, hmm, I'll use the Taurus Amulet, why not? The weapon is still a level 1 weapon, I'm sorry, level 2 weapon, it's still a default first weapon, that's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, so we won't be able to get the second grade weapon, so to speak, uh, that has a maximum of five attacks until we have it at level four. So, anyway, objectives. If we defeat Li Jue, we win. If we want Xiao dies, if I die, or if the time runs out, which is 30 minutes here, then I will lose. But, uh, like I said, I'm more concerned about if I die or if the commander dies. That's it. Alright, the unit info. Yeah, Yuan Shao is commander, Zhang He is officer, Yuan Shu, Han Sun San, Cao Cao with one officer this time, Xia Ho Dun, Xun Jian with one guy, and Liu Bei with Zhang Fei, and myself playing as Guan Yu. Um, if I played as Zhang Fei, I'm pretty sure it will be just Zhang Fei. Um, Typically, if I'm not mistaken, uh, all three rulers will only have one officer this time. But, uh, for the fact, I'm playing as Guan Yu, and I'm going to assume the game 
or the way you know the AI or RNG, whatever you want to call it, pretty much designed Liu Bei's officer to be Zhang Fei, then if you play as any other character, say later on like Zhao Yun or something like that, then it would be the second officer. But you know, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, Li Jue with Li Meng and Yang Fang inside the Shui Gate. We'll see. Li Ru, Hua Shang with Hu Zhen and Zhao Sen behind him. Fan Cho, Niu Fu, Gao Xun, who's actually a general under Lu Bu later on, and Li Su. So, yeah. Alright, let's do it. This is a just battle to punish the traitors that ravage this land. All forces, march for Si Shui Gate. Alright, we're gonna go for Guo Se first since he's right here. Enemy officer defeated. We must not fall behind. Alright, now we're gonna go for the gate captain and then Lee Ru. And he's down. Now Li Ru. We are camped in front of Sishui Gate. We request provisions for the coming of the enemy. The glory will be all sunshine. We will not send the supply convoy out yet. Alright, there we go. And I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but there is a way to actually counter attacks while you're shielding. Let me see if I can do it here. That did not work. But you have to pull onto the trigger, or the, the shield button, and press in the triangle button. But it requires perfect timing. And when I mean perfect, I mean perfect timing. And I learned about this pretty recent, like very, very fucking recent, like a day ago or so. And uh, I never knew about it. And I learned how to use it. And it just doesn't work well for me personally. Maybe just for the fact that I actually learned about it just now. There is a road there. We can attack the enemy supply depot from there. I mean, it's funny. And I said it before with Dynasty Warriors 3. As much as you play a certain game, there's so much more that you could actually learn from it. You know? Like, I just learned that you can knock down those, uh, those windmills in the old Turban Fortress. That's something I never knew until now. Um, there's another time where, like here, that I didn't know you could actually do this. Well, not that, but... Let me see if I can try it. That. That's how you counter. Because obviously using the regular charge attack is this. So you know right away the difference between the two. And uh... Yeah, so we're gonna... I don't know if you... Well, you did obviously, but I don't know if you caught on to the movie cutscene. Well, I'll say it in a sec. Good supply. I have heard Lord Sun Jian is in need of some food. All right, so we have taken the supply depot. Um, the dim sum's here too. Enemy officer defeated. There it is. There you go. Good. Our food problems are solved. Now we attack Sichuan Gate. So, as I was saying, I don't know if you saw the cutscene. Oh, you, you have, obviously, since I showed it in the video. 
Uh, and also here, Yuan Shao refuses to send food supplies to Sun Jian. However, we don't have to worry about him as much if we secure the supply depot here, which we did. So if you take much longer of a time, Sun Jian's morale will actually decrease, if I'm not mistaken, or Hua Shang's will increase one of the two. And uh, if you wait on even longer enough, if that's even a proper sentence, uh, Yuan Shao will ask if there's anyone capable of defeating Hua Shang. Once you do that, and you defeat Hua Shang, there'll be a cutscene saying, well, with Yuan Shao asking who defeated Hua Shang, and you'll be the one saying that you, you defeat him. Doesn't matter if you're Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Cao Cao, Sun Xiang Xiang, doesn't matter who it is. It's just a cutscene in general, and uh, yeah. So, we're gonna go for Niao Fu next. Um, and then I'm gonna go past the Shui Gate and get the Musu one. And get it fast, because I don't know why, but for some weird reason, the Li Jue could retreat anytime he wants, basically. I mean, I've read just to make sure how to trigger the retreats, and I'm not trying to call people out on it, it just doesn't work. But and I was even told by my own friends that the way to do it is to defeat everybody at Sea Gate and everybody as in every general, every officer, and then he'll retreat. Okay, that works. And it does work. However, for some reason, he also retreats whenever he wants, as in he'll retreat Oh god, please tell me one guy is not here. He is here. Okay, I gotta be careful with those bombs. Because that is a very friendly fire weapon. And no pun intended either. And Zhang He just got killed. But anyway, back to the main point at hand. Um, I kept couple of generals alive and he retreated. I kept his one officer alive, he retreated. So I don't know what happened or what causes the retreat, really. I mean the only thing that would make logical sense is if a certain amount of generals pass the C Street gate and he has nobody to protect him because Hua Shang died. That's the only thing that I could think of. And I could be wrong on it. And I'm pretty sure I am. And I hope I'm wrong because I love being, you know, I I just want to, you know, it's one of those things where you need to, you want to learn something new, you know. And I defeated both of Hua Shang's officers and now I'm going to go for, if I could get on a horse and run away and hightail and get the fuck out of here, the Musu wine. Well, you know what? Fuck that. Let me defeat Hua Shang first, then go for it. But this is something I've never seen before. I haven't seen Li Jue retreat when Zhang Liao is here. So let me see if that actually happens. If it does, then wow. Because that's the only hope he would honestly have left if I'm thinking about it. Because he'll start to charge towards uh, Yuan Shao. That's Zhang Liao, of course. But uh, once you defeat Zhang Liao, if I'm not mistaken, or if you unlock him, then it's going to be somebody else. I forgot exactly who it is, but he will... Uh... Huh, that's that's strange. I don't know why he's not charging towards Yuan Shao. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, quit shooting it up. There we go. Huh. He is not moving. That is very strange. And everyone but Li Jue and Zhang Liao are still alive. So. Huh. Maybe I'll be able to defeat Zhang, uh, Li Jue. I don't know. I'll give it a shot, 
but I can't promise anything because for some reason he just winds up he winds up retreating whatever the fuck he wants. And that's the part I'm confused about. But eh. I won't yield so easily, even to you. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there first before I defeat Zhang Liao. And I have I'm not su well, I am surprised that there hasn't been a duel yet. And the duels are actually the best part in my opinion that hasn't been in any other Dynasty Warriors. Actually I it's been in six. But it's a lot different with six. Because in four, you'll know when the duels happen, but in six it's actually during the battle. In four, you'll be taken off to the side and you'll be doing a one on one duel. But I'll go into more details about it once I actually face somebody. And I have a feeling the first person I'm going to face is Blue Boo. And I'm not going to refuse duels unless I have to. Alright, he needs to quit, quit shooting it up. There we go. Stronger than I thought. And and I'm gonna try to defeat Lee Jue very quickly before he retreats. If he retreats, I hope he doesn't retreat. I'm gonna let them go after me and go this way. Just in case if something funny happens. I quit showing it up. Enemy officer defeated. I will defeat you one day. And that's a win. Awesome. All right. So I think it took me three or four parts to actually get Leechway to not retreat. Because every single time he retreats. And for some reason, Zhang Liao did not go up to Yuan Shao. I don't know. I always wind up dealing with all these weird shit. I don't, I don't know what it is. But it's still a win nonetheless. I'm pretty sure the next time I play the Battle of Sui Gate, he'll probably go up there and charge towards Yuan Shao. I don't know. But he does charge up to Yuan Shao. I mean, what's, why is the reason why, why does he say he's going to go and take Yuan Shao's head? You know? And it took me 11 minutes to complete. Um, we got a level 2 Peacock Urn, which increases life. Namon Armor, uh, that's bow defense, obviously, as you see there. And uh, we got a lot of points here. We have 98 KOs, which is actually not a lot for this stage. But uh, it is what it is. We defeated 13 officers, well, named officers. Uh, and we have 3,800 points. Awesome. And we'll probably get Guan Yu up to rank 12. Yes. And we also have a second outfit for Guan Yu. So, awesome. Uh, yeah, so got that and we could actually equip another item to Guan Yu so and the max for Guan Yu is four so just letting you know now 
And, uh, hmm. We don't have enough for the level 3, but we are damn close to it. And, uh, yeah. And we actually increased the number of bodyguards from 2 to 3. So, awesome. And we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures. And I'll see you in the next part where we'll take on the Battle Hulao Gate. Oh boy. <laughs> Peace out.